So yeah, Mammoth versus Neutralizers. Gizmo, Miso, Old Splatterhand and Deeth for Mammoth. For Neutralizers we've got Detour, Bab, Dibby and Noctis. Pretty much changed their lineup every map up so far, Neutralizers. But we got enough players that they could have a different team in every round, I think. <laughs> Three, two, one. So here we go, following Noctis off the start. Probably the star player on the server. He gets yeah, rubbish. And Red Armor was stolen away though, so even though they've got Red Armor kind of secure, they didn't get the they didn't actually get the red pickup. Nice ambush attack by Noctis. It's pretty unfortunate that um two of them moving through there for Mammoth. Yeah. But you could hear them. I, I'm, you know, I'd almost expect them to let them both go past, but, you know, it's tempting, isn't it, to fire straight away. Yeah, leading up to the first power-ups then, they could spawn after the 30-second mark. See, Deeth's in a decent defensive position to catch them out and behind. In fact, that's what he does do. His lightning gun was good enough. Oh, nice rockets. Bab with the bounce. <laughs> Only just making that. Going to go up the bounce pad. The quad's surely in the room already. Switch round to the quad. No, he's been backed off. In fact, those grenades really blocking him off. He's going to go up against Bab. He loses out in the end. Quad is eliminated. Neutralizer's just up ahead. The first minute of play. Then a chance for Bab to cause havoc at the lightning gun. I don't think there's going to be any pressure on Red. Well, apparently there might be. He's rushed back to defend against nobody. Although, I guess, as they came in, so it's really good timing, maybe, by Bab. Yeah, only got 7 health left now as well, so... Was needing all these kind of stacks to defend this room. And they, what would... You'd consider, perhaps, that comfortable margin to start off the map. Nice yeah, it's a very nice start. Switch round to Noctis, attacking on that rail position. Old Splatterhand had picked up the rail. Got away a shot, managed to miss, though, drops off, and... Uh, Noxus just replenishes his own ammunition. Yeah, I think this is the kind of start that's very good for me because uh, Mammoth, they're going to be careful not to throw too many frags away, so it's it's totally secured the red for them. You know, they don't expect any more attacks because that could be a major problem for Mammoth if they attack red and fail and go even further behind at the beginning. But they're very comfortable at the moment and they should be looking extremely good to have a double stacked battlesuit runner possibly. Or even put pressure on the quad with uh, some of that red armor. Still following Noctis 20 seconds before the quad. He's been blocked off briefly by D, although does manage to get the frag on him. Still was another player there who managed to actually take out Noctis. It's old splatter hand. 10 seconds to go before the battle. I'm going to cycle around and see who's at quad. Gizmo looks like the guy who's going to grab this one. 130 armor on the board. Lightning gun in hand. Full clip of ammo as well. Miso needing to push forwards a little bit. Take some of that damage. I don't know. Did the quad just take a shot? He did. From a rail, I think it was. Does manage to take out Dibby. Trying to force his way through the stream. We saw the battle suit pick up by Detour and Quad. Just. Well, our quad had no chance against the battle suit with 200 armor. So. I think even if he'd not been weak, it would have been a very difficult fight. Might have made more sense for you to back off a little bit earlier because he's kind of get caught right in the corner. As uh, Detour finishes his run down this lower area, that lower yellow picked as well, and this is a great start for his first couple of power ups for neutralizing. Yeah, I mean, Detour's in so much damage oh, down low. Unlucky. Oh, unlucky, yeah. If he'd have stayed alive then, he could have probably got another two or three kills potentially. No, they had no weapons to counter him, but. You see Mammoth are actually in on red, just thanks to the, uh, the spawns that are getting in the red room. Let's kill on this zone. Still, yeah, Mammoth on top of it. I'm going to cycle around them a little bit then. Just kind of the unfortunate uh, side effect of getting so many kills in the lower area. It's actually maybe given them given red armor to Mammoth. No, Gizmo actually um, had the bigger stack there, just ran him through the shotgun room and just got instantly eliminated, didn't do any real damage, so that red armor wasn't used particularly well. Noctis now with the red armor pickup, see if he can utilize it a little bit better. He does do a fair bit of damage there with the rockets and the LG combo. And they've won back this room 25 seconds before the power-up spawn, they are still in sync. See Noctis, I mean the way he positions himself, he's just, he's just not taking damage there. Until eventually they all rush him and take over this room, this last red before the power. This worked out pretty well for Gizmo. 
Okay, he's got a shotgun. He's just going to drop down the back for this battle suit. Needs support, really, otherwise he's going to lose a lot of that armor. to use machine gun. I mean, shotgun's not doing any real damage at that range. Gizmo does come out of there with the battle suit in the end. Dibby with the quad. It's a relatively even split in terms of armor between the two because battle suit's going to give you more defense anyway. The red armor going to be picked up in a second if quad could get in now. But he can't. Dibby gets railed, in fact, trying to go through that doorway. Oh my god, direct rocket on the suit, but Quad could be in trouble here. Oh, what's going on? That was very fortunate that Gizmo had all that armor because his rockets were, you know, very bad. Yeah, he really should have taken out the Quad much quicker than it that. It should have been a very comfortable kill. I mean, he had been in a great position. I mean, suit against Quad in that position, you'd favor the suit nine times out of ten, and he nearly blew it. I think it's because he took that direct rocket straight away it kind of spooked him and he maybe didn't think he could go as aggressive as really he would normally maybe So, just watching Gizmo just stare at a doorway, this is probably pretty boring, let's cycle around a little bit. Well, there's nothing really happening, is there? I mean, neither team is doing anything. You'd maybe expect Mammoth to be looking to make things happen on the yellow side, either pushing out past rail, but yeah. they're not doing that at the moment. They're Deep not bothered like about going, yeah. the double the difference in frags at the moment. There we go, Deep hits a nice rocket, though he took one himself. Does actually get the frag on Detour, that's good play from him, so he did go aggressive in the end. Probably just back off there, made a one frag advantage, he's defended rail successfully, effectively. Just needs to block it off now. Not go too aggressive, or maybe he is going to go aggressive, just decides to randomly drop off. Nox is 140 armor, going to rush through with quad first. Interesting, no one went ahead of him. Detroit doesn't want to go... Oh yeah, because double power up. Yep. I mean, Deep pushed out, but he didn't push out in such a way that allowed him to defend suit for his team. Hmm. So we'll just switch around and follow Noctis now with this quad in the lower area. Doesn't encounter it. Well, there he does. Miso, first one to fall. Splatterhand to follow. And uh, as a four frag quad, we'll switch around to the battle suit again. There's a few seconds gap between the two now. Quad just ahead, so it's going to presumably favor the team that's controlling the quad area. Although often, you know, when battle suit's first can favour the quad area as well because it's simple focus, just leave one person at quad and the other three go to battle suit. So it's not as clear cut as whichever one's first has the kind of advantage. No, but you can see who clearly has the map advantage at the moment. I mean, Noctis is tearing the quad area apart and there's no one coming to deal with him and I think his teammates are picking up kills everywhere as well. Although actually it's Mammoth who control red, that's kind of a surprise. Yeah, you wouldn't have expected that from Noxus' point of view. I'm going to cycle around a little. Gizmo is sitting right on this red. Gibby comes up to give him a free kill. Cycle around a little bit more. Detto has just been fragged bad, but not too much either. Gibby rushing in on his own. It seems a bit messy for many of you actually at the moment. Yeah, and all these kills they give away will help Mammoth try and come back into this game. I mean, we're a long way behind, even though we're only not even at the halfway point yet. But, you know, neutralizers won't be helping themselves unless they regroup somewhere and make sure they've got something secure. I mean, it's only 10 seconds to go to power up. Yeah, Mizzou. And Mammoth are on the quad. Mizzou just railed off there. Switch around to the quad spot then. That's old Splatterhand. He hasn't got too much armor to work with, though. He's got Kwao in the that back. Was Great rocket. Awful, really. Guess who eventually does grab that quad. Battle suit pick now by Noct. <laughs> what? <laughs> Terrible rocket jump by Noctis, but it doesn't matter because it was double power up. Oh my god, Detto. What's gone wrong with their movement all of a sudden? Detto looks pretty laggy to me. Yeah, he is lagging badly. 100 ping with a quad. Definitely not. Does eventually get that final frag and the upper yellow will be up in a second. He stops lagging as the quad ends. How unfortunate is that for him? Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy if that was me removing that one. I'd have timed out personally, but. Chose not to. Maybe he's just used to it. So, 30 frag margin is maintained in neutralizer's favor. I think frag 
sorry, Merce limit is what, 50? Still in this final? I don't think that would have changed, would it? No idea. So, you know, it's not that far off, especially on this map, you can just pick up a vast amount of frags in a very short period of control. Well, it's five frags away. Oh, that's 40, sorry, it's five frags away, so yeah, not far. Yeah. So, Mammoth do seem like they're positioned in the red room at the moment. Can they defend it successfully, though? Misso going it's down. It's looking like a no. Just no one in the positions to stop any of you piling in. I mean, all of them come through that railgun. I mean, one person in there with a rocket would have at least slowed down that attack and maybe backed them off completely. It is seem to have one player with a rocket, but he switched to rail and then dropped it right in front of Deep. So maybe it's a, a wrong weapon switch, maybe he ran out of ammo. Rushing back to the quad area. So it's like around some of the players now. Dibby in the lower area. Oh, Juz just missed out on that lower yellow. And he's going to pay the price for that one. Don't think Dibby's been having the greatest game yet. He looks at his score though. Five seconds to go before the power squad is going to be first. I haven't found anybody that's there yet as a side quad around everyone. There it is. Death it's going to be double. Corner. And Noctis again with the battle suit. They really play a very good game on this map thus far. Switch back to the quad, see what's going on there. Well, Detour gets an easy first frag with it. Catches an opponent up against the bounce pad. Gonna confiscate this rail in a second. Great, switch to shotgun. Very good shot there. Because if he hadn't switched to shotgun, it probably would have uh, taken a rail shot as he tried to scrape round with the LG. As Noctis battle suit does just run out as he runs out of ammo. And he had a bit of armor as well, so that's pretty unfortunate for him. He's not coming out on top in that one. It's it's really feeling like this is a, a very comfortable map victory for neutralizers. Yeah, and you'd have to say they're playing a very kind of scrappy, aggressive game. They're not even too concerned about their own positioning or anything. They are just kind of all over the place and doing whatever they want and there's not much resistance. Yeah, 40 frags is the difference then. As Noctis picks up that next red, 40 seconds before the power's off and you would see one team attacking. Maybe the quad from about this time before the power-up spawn if they're holding the red armor position. Noctis instead. Clearing out that railgun. See if neutralizers do decide to attack. Well, we've seen them pick up multiple double power ups. I think they've got three so far this game. It's highly likely that they'll look to get in there. Not just really just cruising around the map at full speed at the moment. Does look like he's well up for this one. Plus 20 net for him, 5.3k damage. He'll be doing 5.6k damage the most on the server, in fact. There's Misso with the quad pickup. Should be an easy bounce pad raise for Dibby because the quad wasn't rushing through. I'm going to switch back to the quad, see what he's doing. He's going to take the shotgun attack. Dibby's got 200 armor, so you can't imagine Miso's going to have much success here. Although those are good rockets. Yeah, he's just blocked him back. Oh my god, the rocket hit the quad carrier. Miso's got to be careful. Takes out Dibby. Wow, he's done a really good job, Miso. The only thing is. He's taken out suit, but there's no time to do anything with the quad, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, he does a good job in a defensive way. He takes out the battle suit, but that's all he did. There's no real gain on that. One frag gain, but didn't gain control in the air, didn't get any, any items, just killed one player effectively. And he's died twice as a result straight afterwards. About getting that frag. So, I mean, I'm thinking, like, this is going to be the 50 limit now, isn't it, in a couple of frags' time? It is, two frags away. You know what, Mammoth picked as their map, you would expect Purgatory, maybe, but... It is Purgatory, yeah. Ah, so, yeah, I think it'll be a different game on there. It's still quite a tough ask to lose this much and then come back on your own map. Not like neutralizers are weak on Purgatory, but the Mammoth have played well this tournament. They'll, they'll have a chance on their map. I guess it's not set then because we did just reach 50 limit. Did we? Unless it is different in the finals, it might have been raised. Not really sure. But either way, I mean, at this stage, there's only 
three sets of power-ups left, it's going to be one hell of a comeback if they bring this one back. Do you know what, though, Vor? If there's one map you could do it on, it is kind of this one, because the kind of control you can get on it. Yeah, it is. You can totally dominate the map, and you can get... No, kill streaks of, like, 15 or 20 frags where none of your team dies. Great rocket. That's a backhand with this bounce. We're going aggressive on the quad, but Dibby coming out on the top. Yeah, it could have been a really nice kill. The first rocket he hit was really nice, but couldn't make contact with the second. 50 health is up for Dibby as well. He's going to have to wait 10 seconds for the upper yellow if he wanted to, so he's not going to. Going to run back. There is a mammoth player inside that shotgun room. You see, they could be instantly become a bit more cautious. Detour just trying to get a peek on it. Dibby would follow him in if he can get through Detour. Well, Detour might try and lure the guy to chase him, but... I'm surprised Dibby just randomly decided to go aggressive, but it worked out relatively well. Did a lot of damage, did get a frag as well. We gave away that lightning gun, which is never ideal, but, you know, the kind of match situation we're in, it really doesn't matter, does it? No. We've got just about four minutes remaining. Two rounds of power-ups left to spawn. So what is this? Is this a good performance by Neutralizers? Is Mammoth just a little bit weak? I think Mammoth are just weak on this map. To be honest, I mean, Neutralizers have done what they needed to do, but no, it wasn't exactly an absolutely stellar performance. I know they stole double power up multiple times, but really that was bad positioning for Mammoth. I mean, we didn't see much of a, a battle over some of those double power ups. They were just taken comfortably. So, you know, Neutralizers are looking good, but... I don't think it's much to judge them by against Mammoth on this map. We have actually seen in the past. Um, Neutralizers really come out all guns blazing and have great fast starts to maps, only to uh, let it drop a little bit as the map goes on. So it's been nice to see, at least in their point of view, that they've kept it up pretty much the whole tempo. Oh my god, Quad goes down there! Deep with a pretty strong battle suit left, although that rocket jump won't go to help. Well, yeah. He's very warpy. Very laggy to watch. If you didn't have the power, I don't think we'd really be wanting to watch him. Did we gonna go down? Battle suit gets one fry. Wow, nice rockets. <laughs> Shaky is now through Oh, we, we cycled Detour. Or he's uh, really smooth himself, yeah. We'll switch away from Detour, I think. Bab got 100 armor on the board. So, I mean, is there anybody on this team that's especially the standout performer? For neutralizers, is it just Noctis? Is this what Noctis does for teams? Well, Noctis, but then again, he takes everything, doesn't he? So you expect him to do well. What's the other players are like international players? A couple of Swedes there. And uh, Czech and Detour. All played for their nations, these guys. Gizmo on the other team, though, of course, for France. Seeing them win the Nations Cup recently, he played in that. Yeah, he played very well in the final. But it's a bit different now when you know, your teammates aren't quite of the same calibre. And you're up against very tough opponents as well. Two seconds ago until the quad spawns. Miso's going to grab this 165 armor on the board. Lightning gun, full clip of ammo, and a shotgun as backup. It might be able to catch out the battle suit. If he drops down, though, he could actually put himself in a bad position. Well, he has done really yellow. Not to hit the first rocket and then didn't look in that direction again. Last minute left to see if they can uh, restore a little bit of pride. With the squad run. Well, two frags. That is a, a very small amount of pride restored. Very tiny amount. So not at all, really. So, second map. I mean, is it going to be a different story? 
could it's be. just a very unique styled map. I don't think this is a map map particularly favour, but you know, Purgatory will be their home map and they'd expect to do better, but it's not gonna be any easier really. It's just they're gonna be able to put in a better performance themselves, but you know, neutralizer is still gonna be extremely strong on Purgatory. It will be a very difficult map. Hundred and forty three, it's only fifty three frag limit. We saw them hit fifty and that was at least four minutes before the end, so they really didn't gain any more in the last quarter of the map. Yeah, I mean item pickups are relatively similar, but look at the power ups. Two minutes and thirty of quad and suit for neutralizers, and not even half that for mammoth, so there's where the game was, you know, significantly won and lost, but I just don't think Mammoth looked comfortable on that map at all really. That was a good pick by neutralizers.